one of the very interesting concept that is a string padding okay so in this string uh, uh, in this string padding there are two kinds of string operations which is provided okay that is um, string uh, pad left and string pad right side okay that means uh, you can append few characters to the left of the string and you can append few characters to the right of the string depends on some condition okay so before getting into this uh, string pad uh, uh, i want to i want to uh, discuss why we need to use it and what is a real time use case and uh, and some other scenarios okay so there can be a scenarios like um, while you are working in the strings uh, you want to uh, you are writing into the, some fixed width file okay and uh, in fixed width file that particular column length is uh, some some characters let's say 25 but your string characters the one that that you are giving an input to the file is of length let's say 19 okay so that six characters were missing okay so but with the fixed width file you always want to make sure that that uh, the particular column length string characters should always be same it's not a separator field separator file like pipe and all it's a fixed width file so that particular length of the column should always be same that is a one scenario and the other scenario is like let's say you are working with some databases database and uh, you given the type as some caret character of these many characters or that uh, uh, string of these many characters i know nowadays we are we are selecting most of the times varchar varchar having ha this is not an issue with varchar but there are some cases like if you give this character of these 15 or 20 characters and a string of 15 or 20 characters in that cases you should give this many characters only okay you cannot uh, give less or uh, you cannot give more than character more than the specified characters okay so such a scenarios this string pairing will always comes very very handy okay so here in this video i'm going to discuss about two scenarios okay two scenarios scenario one and scenario two okay let's look into scenario one okay here what i am saying is if a string let's say sorry let's say let's say 19 characters okay you want it to be 25 characters so that you can use in some other activities okay here what they're saying is like i am having the string of 19 characters but my output string should be 25 characters okay so what they have to do is remaining letters that is 25 minus 19 that six letters has to be constant okay uh, that is left side some scenarios they wanted it in the left side some scenarios they wanted it in the right side okay so this is the left side scenario scenario one whereas the same scenario is the right side scenario is a scenario two okay so i'm just explaining one more time you have a string of some specific characters let's say 19 okay and you wanted a string of some other specific characters which is more the length of the a given string remember it should be the more the length of the given string okay then uh, you are for the remaining characters which you need to pad okay either by left side or right side we'll going to discuss about two scenarios and at the same time what will happen if it is a less less uh, you are giving the here you are giving the string of 19 characters right so if you give the pad length as 12 13 what will happen those kind of scenarios also we'll see here okay so let's get into our our ui path here so what i am here i have created one here created one uh, basic uh, workflow now i am pulling that sequence so in this sequence so before getting into it what i'll do is i'll create one variable string str string type here hello ui path users okay so uh, what i'll do here is i'll take assign statement I'm assigning here this assign statement uh, that is we have string right string dot you can see here pad left okay pad left uh, let's say I am giving 12 comma 
here the second arg first argument should be integer that is the maximum length of the string okay and second argument should be characters okay if you give something like this way string it's not going to accept it is will say like this is a compiler error saying like i am not able to convert string uh, uh, to characters so here is a one handy function that is providing c cap of something like let's say i am giving zeros okay so so here what i am doing is i am assigning to the result to one result to one okay and i am taking it to the message box i am printing one message box here that result result one okay so before getting into it what we will do is i'll print one more result here message box here what i am going to do here is like i am going to take the length length dot two string here okay so let me explain it one more time i am just doing this parallel with a different length and let's see what we are going to do okay here you can see it started executing now that length came as 19 now it is displayed everything okay so uh, uh, so here the thing is so our use cases should be like 19 less than 19 and more than 19 so these are the bound scenarios that i am going to explain okay why i am taking 19 is the length is 19 okay so here we have taken the least scenario that is 12 and we got the result like whatever that is already there in the string okay that means it is not appending anything okay now let me let me take the extreme scenario here something like 25 okay and let me run this again started running and it is printing that actual string length now you can see all those all those things that is one two three four five six characters are appended by zero and remaining were as this okay so this is so it is uh, from this example what we can say is like string length is 19 19 characters were printed properly and before to that the six remaining characters were appended with a static value that we have given as part of the workflow okay so this is more than scenario what will happen if i give as it is 19 my belief is like it should not do any changes it will print actual variable value let's see Nineteen actual variable value so anything which is same or less than the size of the string pad left will not going to happen anything the main use case is like uh, when the size you want the size to be more and you wanted to append some characters either to the left or right this pad uh, functionality will comes very handy okay now this i will remove and i will use another function like pad right side okay here that pad right okay here same thing what i am doing is i am just taking the actual one so i am appending with zero here okay so i am saving it now what happened what it is saying replace it with, this, with some string value uh, let's see what is going to happen let's run it and let's see the issue so it is throwing some issues here let's see uh, what is an issue here see cannot assign a system dot string type to to the generic value okay assign 
so here I have created now so it is taken generic value here okay let me convert it to the string I'll convert it to the string now you can see it is executed properly you could have asked why it is not happening in right side believe me even I don't know it's all trial and error matters once we comes then only we can we can come to know what is the exact issue so here started executing 19 and you can see all the things which is more the carrot uh, which we need to pad while coming to the right side okay so i will leave here i will allow you guys to execute the below scenarios like what is what will happen when you give 19 19 what will happen when you give less than 19 here the 19 is the length of the string okay i want you guys to explore and see how the output is coming okay if you have any issues please let me know in a comment sections so that i can come back to you guys okay if you feel like to share it and subscribe to my channel for the future updates thank you bye bye